Hi, everyone. Good evening. I don't know if you can see me at all, but I'm here. <laughs> you can see my little butler down here with my glass of Butcher Baby's wine. I drink this while I'm uh, doing my drinking jaws with you guys. So good. So happy Sunday, everybody. It is crazy windy here uh, where I live in Illinois. So if uh, <laughs> if it cuts out, it's because the power went out. And But hopefully that won't happen. We're gonna have good juju tonight and because last time we had some technical difficulties. So hi everyone, I know it's hard to see me and the drawing, but the whole point of this is to draw. So I'm gonna not be on camera all the time, but you can see what I'm doing. Hi guys, hi, hi, hi. Hey everybody. So if you guys were drawing with me the other night and you know that we were creating um, a, the last woman on earth. So it was really, really fun. Last time that we were all hanging out together, we decided that we were going to draw this character and you guys kind of dictated what I was going to draw. And we made her outfit together. We made her hair together, all these little details. And um, it was really cool. So anyways, I inked her a little bit uh, as best as I could I decided to do it in Procreate simply because, um, you know, I just feel like nowadays if you plan on making a print of something, you should just start in Procreate because you're going to have to send it there anyways and um, to fix it up for prints. So, and I actually really have been enjoying coloring in Procreate. It's like a whole different ball game. And even though I have like hundreds and hundreds of markers, I think that um, it's kind of been, you know, my new favorite thing uh, doing the Procreate color. So I'll give you guys a little tutorial. But the first thing that I did was to scan in the pencil drawing. So I did a basic pencil sketch with you guys, if you remember. We did this is what we did the other night. And uh, she's pretty cute, huh? So I just uh, imported her into my iPad, the pencil drawing. She's on my layer one. Uh, put the background color back in. So I take away that layer one and you can see all the inks. But um, the, uh, the layer one is that pencil layer. So basically what I'm doing is just tracing over the pencil. Normally I would do that on paper if I was just going to do it, you know, uh, on paper completely. But when you do it on the Procreate, it lends itself to having this really nice, clean drawing in the end. So um, it's cool. Hi guys. Hi to everybody coming in and hanging out and everything. Good to see you guys again here. I'll try to sneak in a little bit. Hi. Can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> Hi. So uh, do you remember to subscribe, you guys. I'm giving away something really, really cool tonight because I thought that I had sold out of all of these Gash 6s. And Gash 6 was my 2018 sketchbook. And the cool thing about this is that half of it is a coloring book with all these um, just line drawings that you can make your own. Super cool. And the other half is uh, all my sketches and drawings from 2018. So I found a box of them that I didn't know I had in storage today. And I'm really excited about it. So tonight's giveaway for you guys, for whoever subscribes, um, who gifts the most subscription, it's blah, blah, blah. Um, then you guys can get that. There's only 20 of them left in existence. The rest of them are sold out, but I was lucky to find a pile of fresh ones untouched. So um, they're really cool. The drawing portions are really cool. You can use markers, you can use pencils, you can use whatever you want on them. But um, so yeah, so that, that's the gift tonight. So subscribe, 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 and I can keep on doing these for you guys. And then, and also that's only 
for those of you that are watching on Twitch. If you guys aren't watching on Twitch, get your asses over to Twitch and uh, sign up. And we've got so many fun things that we do on a daily basis on our Butcher Babies channel. We've got Heidi and Henry doing a morning show for you guys. I get out and do some grief counseling once in a while. I'm definitely going to be doing a couple drinking draws every week, and these are my favorite things to do. So get your asses over to Twitch and subscribe and uh, give some subscriptions. And again, you have a chance to win that sketchbook. So back to what we were talking about. If you guys are just popping in, I see a lot of people just popped in on Friday night's drink and draw we developed a character together and we talked about the importance of developing characters before you start drawing them. So we talked about wanting to draw the last woman on earth. And we decided, you know, we talked about what her character would be like, what her motivation was and what her costume would look like and, you know, um, all these cool things. And so we designed this character together and then I inked her up a little bit. I still have some more inks to do, but now we are going to color her together tonight. And if you keep watching and subscribing to the channel, I'll be doing more of these where we actually draw a character together because it was literally so much fun the other night. So some of the elements that we put into her costume from the other night, can you guys see? Um, she's got dog tags. And again, this is the layer of pencil still under it. This is just a rough sketch still. Um, it'll get better, obviously. I always like to say that. It's not finished. <laughs> I think all artists do that. Well, don't look at it yet. It's not done yet. Blah, blah, blah. But she's got a little dog tag. She's going to have buttons, patches. She's got a studded belt because we made her have a bunch of weapons because we wanted her to be prepared in any situation, but we also wanted her to look extremely hot while being prepared in all these situations. So um, she's got a little cropped leather jacket on. That's what we decided on. She's got, this is my favorite part. We decided she was going to have a flail. So the other night, Friday night too, um, you guys <laughs> taught me the difference between a mace and a flail. Uh, a flail is uh, has a chain and these two balls attached with spikes. These are going to have spikes on them when I finish that part. Um, you guys wanted her to have camo pants. She's going to have a gun and a knife strapped into her um, belt, too. I started it, but I didn't get a chance to finish inking it today. You can see she's got a little switchblade tucked into her boot. And even her belt is going to be a weapon. So... For instance, uh, if she's got no other weapons left, if everything's taken away, she can take off her belt and it's gonna have spikes all the way around it so that she can use it to kick your fucking ass, right? Um, she's gonna be kind of tossing a grenade up in the air. I haven't started it. It looks like an egg right now, but it's not gonna like, look like an egg afterwards. It's gonna look like an actual grenade. But um, yeah, so she's got all these weapons. She's gonna have strapped to her back as well. But uh, I just, I love her little pose and everything and see her necklaces are in motion because her body is in motion. You know, she's like kind of sashaying her hips. So she would be in motion. So she'll have, like I said, just a little bit of movement. The hair is blowing this way. The necklaces are blowing, um, all that stuff. So like I said, when you're creating a character, you know, think about all that stuff. And now... I thought that we could work on the color together. <laughs> I'm wondering, Matthew Ryan says he was wondering if it was an egg or a grenade. Oh uh, yeah, she's just carrying around an egg weapon. I don't know, I guess eggs could be a weapon if you were like highly allergic or something. I don't know. By the way, I'm drinking my wine. What are you guys drinking tonight? <laughs> when life gives you eggs, you make eggnade. Egg, eggnade, yeah, you know, that's true. Tell you guys a secret, I love eggs. I could live on eggs. They're like my favorite thing in the world. So I guess mentally, I, maybe I did draw an egg because if I was the last woman on earth, that's what I would want. I would want, I would want an egg. <laughs> so did you guys, can you see on the screen, seriously, my, my cute little butler. I am so in love with this thing. I got it at home goods and he just holds my drinks for me all the time. He's so cool. So somebody asked me what I'm drawing on, and I'm drawing on an iPad Pro. 
in the Procreate app. I never got into digital drawing at all. I hated it. Um, I had a Wacom and it was really expensive and I just couldn't get used to it. And I tried and tried. Um, I definitely love drawing on paper. Um, so I got this, uh, this iPad Procreate and it's just like an opening new world for me. It, it definitely is way more user friendly than a Wacom, probably because the Wacoms are kind of, um, I think they're PC based and this is obviously an Apple product. So I was just familiar with how, uh, you know, they work and, uh, it was uh, like I said, a game changer for me, and it's been really fun now to um, kind of learn digital drawing. Hi guys, for those of you that are just popping in. See, I'm kind of trying to poke my head in a little bit to see you guys. One of these days I'll get like a two camera thing going, but it's a lot of work for now. Okay, so let's take out the pencil for now. You see how, you know, so now it's just like an ink drawing and it looks really boring so we got to put back in the texture and all that kind of stuff with color so what and you guys keep uh keep gifting you guys are awesome yay thank you guys thanks jordan thanks everybody um so again we are giving out um one of my sketchbooks tonight because i found a pile of them i know i didn't know that i had so uh yeah so okay let's talk First, what do we want to color first? I'm very like detail oriented and I want these little buttons and everything to have a ton of detail. Should we do our skin first? I didn't finish this hand. I'll do that later. Um, let's do our skin. Um, I, this is called procreate for those of you that are, um, that are uh, asking. Okay. So let's talk skin and the other cool thing about Procreate is that you can have unlimited colors. You can make your own palettes of your favorite colors and you can share them. You see all these colors? I have so many skin palettes depending on what kind of character that I am drawing. So um, let's go down to, this is golden hour skin. That means, um, you know, it, you know how the golden hour that models always want to take a picture in, that'll give that the uh, character that glow. Hubba Bubba Pale Skin is like more of like a pink tan. Um, glazed skin, dark skin, uh, tan skin. <laughs> I'm kind of like anal about having a lot of different color combinations and like this palette like right here with all these blues and purples. I would literally use all of these to make an eyeball because that's what you can do. That's why Procreate and everything is so great because it's like painting digitally and uh, you can do so many cool things. So what kind of skin are we going to give her? Someone said my skin tone, <laughs> which I, which I like, but I'm biased, you know, so, <laughs> but you know, again, it goes back to like character development and creating characters. Since she is the last woman standing, we don't know her circumstances, but you know, she probably is out walking around a lot in the sun. So she probably would be kind of tan. So I think we should give her, you know, kind of a tan, a tan look to her. So I always like to start with faces. And also when you start shading and everything, okay, everyone is, is on the same page, golden, olive, tan. So I think that we're gonna make her tan. So I'm gonna go pick out a palette. Like I said, I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of palettes. And I wanna, I think I'm gonna try the golden hour palette cause she's super tan. Oh my God, I lost it. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start with the with the uh, the lightest color that I'm gonna use first. And everyone's different. This is just what I do. 
What I really, really like doing lately is using the airbrush for um, large areas of color. You can also do color drops with Procreate and I'll show you how to do a color drop to color a whole area. Um, but for now, I'll just do this. So I have the airbrush on. Oh wait, hold on, I wanna put this. And actually, I didn't do it, but I gotta create another layer and you put it underneath your inks. Okay, so let's just go back a second so that you remember what I'm talking about because a lot of you are asking about the process of um, the Procreate. The first thing that you do is you, um, I'll show you step by step, you load in your pencil drawing. This was my original pencil sketch on paper. You can see her right here. And then you import it in, then you add another layer. And I actually inked in session. So I have a couple layers of inks and you ink over the pencil and then you take off the pencil layer. You just unclick it and then you add another layer underneath the ink and then you do the color on that layer underneath. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, and also you can take down the levels, make it make the the really big strokes or smaller strokes. I'm covering a lot of space right now, so I'm just gonna kind of go for it. And actually, I'm gonna take down the intensity a little bit because I don't want it to be that dark yet. Okay, and you see how it's it's staying under the lines because I'm drawing on the layer underneath. It's not um, interfering with my line work. So my ink is going to remain like these nice clean lines, which if you like comic book art like me, there's always like strong black lines. Now, sometimes I'll go in later and I'll just take all the um, the ink levels down so that it's not as you know, it looks more realistic that way. But again, I grew up reading comics. I love comics. I love image comics. Um, love all kinds of comics. And so to me, I like the look of strong black lines. So this is her base skin tone. And we're going to add shadows and highlights and all that stuff. But this is just the base. So what else is going on with you guys? Um, so Rich, uh, you gotta be on Twitch and do the subscriptions to, uh, win prizes. Um, you can go buy them from my site, but in order to win, actually win something, you gotta subscribe to our channel. And you should anyways, because, you know, Twitch is kind of like the new thing. There's a lot of awesome musicians doing really cool things on Twitch. So, um... If not just for us, you should definitely subscribe and to you know go get on Twitch and get an account and go support your uh, favorite musicians and gamers and all kinds of cool stuff. So again, I didn't have a chance to do this hand yet, um, so I'm just gonna leave that alone and I'll I'll do that later. I love coloring. And I think too, like um, with Procreate and everything, I think that if you are, um, it just so it feels, it feels like you're holding a pencil. I think I was telling you guys before as well that I have this film on my iPad called a paper like so that it makes your iPad feel like paper, um, which is to me like the main thing that enabled me to be able to start drawing more on um, the iPad. Before, like it just tripped me out, like the difference, the feel of, uh, I just hated it. 
you know, the way that your my pencil would slide around. I did not like that at all. So once you get that paper like on top of your iPad, it just gives it a little friction so that it feels more normal, you know? Yeah, it feels like you're drawing on glass and it sucks, right? Um, so this is definitely um, a way easier way. Um, like I'm obsessed with texture and the feel and I just couldn't get used to it. But when I found the paper, like everything changed. So I'm adding um, the next color that I'm gonna use. It's a little bit darker, not much. Just giving her a little glow. So the, the, this colors that I'm using, um, it's gonna be a little like tan orangey, but it's because she's out in the sun. And then I'm gonna blend these together, obviously, but, um, and put some highlights. So don't, don't judge, don't judge the orangeness yet. <laughs> She's going to be, uh, it's going to look a little different. And the other cool thing is you can always change it. You know, if you don't like it, you can also take down the, there's like a little hue, saturation, brightness. And so if I decide after I'm all done that I hate this skin color, I can change it. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to change it to any of these, but, oh, that's kind of hot. A blue babe but you can take down the intensity um, and all that see it just cooled her down so much so there's that oops hard to get back right to the 50 there that's the color that I chose and then if I don't like it I can take down the saturation and it's just a little bit a little bit nicer but I'm going to continue doing what I was doing. I'm still using that airbrush tool. And the secret for me for skin is that I like to blend it out with a little texture, like a pencil texture or something to give it that kind of like, just that thing. Like, like I said, I'm obsessed with texture and, um, uh, Although I like my drawings to be very comic booky, I do love like a nice textured blend as well. Okay, I'm gonna um, concentrate mostly on her face right now. So again, I'm, the first steps I just do really, really fast because this is just like the very basic and then I go back. I do want to cool down her skin a little bit, I think. So I might put a little bit of... No, I don't like that. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, this, maybe. Yeah. I didn't like how the colors that I picked made her look so like orangey. I'll probably take it down a little bit, um, but for now, I'll fix it a little bit with this. Get ears. Okay, and now I'm gonna go get like a, a darker color to do the, the shading and everything. I'm thinking about trying from a different palette. So, uh, hold on. I think I need a sip of my wine real quick. <laughs> yeah, get that paper like. It's awesome. It'll literally change your, um, change your life. There's also some really cool ones on Amazon um, from Japan. And uh, I can't remember the name, but they have a really nice texture to them. So I'm just looking to decide what I'm going to use for her 
for like the darker shadows in her face. I like this. Let me see if it works. Hmm. No, it's not good. Sorry guys, I didn't have my colors all picked out. I like to pick them with you. This is a really cool palette, my DC Comics palette. It's got all kinds of yellows and, and cool stuff in it. Okay, um, there it is, there's my palette. So I'm gonna pick out a nice kind of golden brown. Okay, let's try this one. I think this is going to work nicely. So the airbrush tool, the airbrush brush, so all these brushes are like so accurate <laughs> as to what they would be like. They have crazy, um, all different kinds of brushes you can use. Um, and they're pretty true to the actual feel of whatever it is, like whether it's a pencil or an ink or an airbrush, any of that stuff. So airbrush is, it's kind of, um, it's soft and it covers a lot of area. It can get a little messy, but I'm going to blend it out. So it doesn't really matter. These are just like, this is just how I start like building her face. If that makes sense. Um, so, uh, hi guys. Hi everybody who just popped in. Again, I'm just, I'm just slowly building her face. So it's like painting. And I think everybody kind of does different things too. And depending on what I'm working on, I'll do different things. Sometimes I'll use little circles. Sometimes I'll use more like fast streaky mo movements. I pulled my pencil wrong. Can you guys see that? I've always held my pencil really weird. Do you guys hold your pencils <laughs> the right way? I used to get yelled at all the time in school for holding my pencil weird. And uh, they tried to beat it out of me and uh, I still hold my pencil like that, so I won. <laughs> okay. So even though it's not blended, can you see like how her, uh, how her like face is uh, starting to come to life? And again, like the level to which you decide to bring your character to life is up to you. Everyone's got a different aesthetic. Some people love, you know, like hyper-realistic things. Some people like comic book art. It's all art, though, in the end. But I do suggest that when you think you've done enough to go back and think about it, because sometimes it's just those tiny little details that you didn't feel like doing that make all the difference in the world. I really like this brown that I picked for the shadows. It's cool. So there was a, I like to leave a little bit of, of a gray shading underneath the pencil sometimes or underneath the color so that I can um, work on the nose. So I'm just going back in and I'm erasing that from underneath right now because I know how I want her nose to be already so I don't need it there anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Marcus. Well, I'm glad that you can um, be in here with us and take a little time to just relax for a minute, but my thoughts are definitely with you. Send in sending some uh, love over to you for sure. Okay. Can you guys see how it's taken shape a little bit? 
again, I'm still not, uh, <laughs> I'm listening, reading your stories now. JD says, I had a teacher that tried to tell me to hold it properly and I flat out said, fuck off. So I got a referral for disobedience. You know, the same thing, I did the same thing basically. Um, <laughs> and then I had did this thing. I was a weird kid. I did this thing where um, I just, I was always bored in school. I did really well, got like straight A's, but I like to cause trouble because I think I was just bored. And uh, when I was little, I told the teacher that I was ambidextrous because I learned that word somewhere. <laughs> and so I would try to teach myself how to use my left hand. And I was obsessed with it. And um, I really had committed myself to the idea that I could, you know, train, <laughs> train myself to use my left hand. Well, yeah, it doesn't work out so well that way, but <laughs> whatever. So again, if you're just tuning in, this is just the first layer of highlights. I'm concentrating on uh, her uh, face and her chest area, but uh, it's going to be blended together a lot. After I get all the colors in, I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to go grab some white and I'm going to put it just a little bit in these highlight spaces, like where you have natural highlights. So the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the cheeks, the chin, these breast assists would have a little bit of glow on them right? <laughs> the throat right there. The ears. And the sides of the nose right here, like there, that would pop like that a little bit under the eye. Okay. So I might go back in and add more color, but I can show you guys um, how to blend uh, what we've done so far a little bit. So I was saying that I really like to blend with texture. I don't like to color with texture. I like to blend with it, if that makes sense. So this is the blender tool, this little guy right here. And I like to use something with texture. So when I'm doing skin, I'll either do like a charcoal or like a pencil. Um, but I want to make her look more comic -like, So it's going to be like a smoother I did download these skin brushes. So let's try that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna put the opacity down pretty low because I don't want like a strong like skin look. I just want um, like a nice texture and a nice blend. So. I'm going to see if it works. It looks pretty nice. So you probably can't tell from there. Maybe you can, but it gives it when you're, when you're blending it, it just gives it like the tiniest bit of texture. So, and what I like about that is that it looks as if you drew it on the paper. Um, which I cannot, I don't like like super shiny digital art. I like it to look as if, like I said, it was still drawn on paper. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the pacey a little. You guys, I cracked my pen. I, I'm so hard on things. I cracked it, so I have to get a new one. Super bummed. Okay, I don't know if I like this. I really liked it at first, but now I'm like kind of not impressed with this blender brush. Hmm. Let me try a different one. These are like really big. Let's try this just for fun and see what happens. Yeah, that's, this is like way too blendy blendy. 
oh my gosh, you know why it wasn't working? This is the thing that I hate about Procreate sometimes. So I was literally doing it on a different layer. So, so now, well, I'm glad this happened because now I can show you how much it sucks when you do this. So um, the layer that I'm supposed to be coloring on is layer five. And I noticed the blender brush wasn't blending. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And it's because I put, see, I use this color on the layer that it's not supposed to be on. So actually I'm gonna go all the way back and this sucks, but I have to do it um, and make sure that that's all gone because I do not want it on my pencil layer. I'm so bummed. It was such a cool color too. Okay, let's see if it's gone. No, it's still there. Well, that's the good thing about Procreate too, is you can go back and all my whites are gonna be gone. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it. No, I can't leave it. It's gonna fuck things up. Let's see if it's still there. Hmm. I guess I could just go in and erase it on this layer, but. Hmm. Let me try to go back a little bit more and get rid of it. Still there. Now it's going away. So yeah, that's the one thing you have to make sure if you're using layers that you are drawing on the right layer at all times. Because if you don't, you can get so far into something and then you'll be like, fuck. That was on the wrong layer the whole time. It's got to go back a little bit further. There, now it's all gone. See, this, this layer is clean again. And uh, now I'm going to go back and guess what? I got to do all the shit I just did over again <laughs> because I was on the wrong layer. But that's okay because it is a little learning thing for you guys. And also, if you guys like what I'm doing, and I'm just the same color, and you want to hang out more, then remember to subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends to subscribe, gift subscriptions, all that fun stuff. And um, I'll be doing a lot more of these. And also, I'm giving away a prize tonight. I'm giving away um, one of my sketchbooks. So uh, sign up, give us a follow subscribe okay so i'm back to finishing up these highlights since i fucked it up <laughs> so again make sure that you're on the right layer this is the right layer here layer five this is what i'm doing my color on so i went back okay and i think oh yeah this is what needs to happen i had I had to go back down here. I got to reshade these titties. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world to have to reshade my titties. Speaking of that, people always ask me why I draw women all the time. And it's like, why not? Women are like the coolest thing in the world to draw. Like they're just so interesting. And uh, just the way women's bodies are shaped. And I've always been drawn to drawing uh, females. Ever since I was a kid, I always drew females that were, you know, very over the top. Just, just what I like. It was the way that I wanted to look and, and what I thought was aesthetically pleasing. So, you know, I loved like image comics, like I was saying earlier. I loved um, like artists like uh, Robert Williams and Robert Crumb who were, drew a lot of sex stuff and um, Joseph Michael Listener and just like all the fucking awesome comic book guys from back in the day. Like the 90s guys like really got me. You know, we have icons like Kirby and all that, but I, and I love some of the older characters, but 
I really found a love in the 90s uh, when Image Comics was, was big. Okay, so I got these back, and so now let's try... Oh, thank you, Betty. Yeah, I, I have drawn a lot of guys lately, and um, I can draw them, and I'm good at drawing them, but it's just, you know, I don't know. It's hard. They're just not what I'm motivated to do, you know? McFarlane's awesome. Yes, Adam Hughes is awesome. So many awesome people. Have you guys seen the um, the DC uni uh, Universe Black, uh, the, the metal, death metal ones? So people kept sending me images of the Wonder Woman that the artist was drawing. She had hair like my old hair. And uh, it was, he actually was using me as inspiration. He posted about it. People, people kept saying that she looked like me. And I just thought that was just the coolest fucking thing ever. As like a huge comic book fan, like that just made my day. Okay, so now that we know why it wasn't blending right before, because I was on the wrong layer. Like when you guys get a Procreate, that's going to fucking happen all the time to you. You're going to you're going to want to throw your iPad out the window sometimes because, but then you just have to, you know, go and fix it. All right. So yeah, so this blender brush is pretty cool. Like I said, it wasn't working before because I was not on the right layer. So if you're just popping in and wondering what the hell I'm doing, I was telling everybody before that I like to, my personal preference for when I'm doing skin is to use the um, airbrush brush and then I go in and I blend with a blender brush. Is there something? No, okay. The reason that I use a textured blender is because I like my drawings to look as if they like they were done on paper. Um, it gives it a nice like toothy look. And some people really, really like that like crazy slick digital look. I don't like that. It, I'm not a fan of it. I much prefer the look of uh, something hand drawn, which is probably why too, I, I always start on paper. Like I was saying, I started this drawing on paper and then I um, put her, imported her into my Procreate. Someone just asked me what I was using. I use Procreate. I use an iPad Pro and then I use Procreate and this is a just an Apple Pencil. And uh, if you guys have been on the fence about like, getting a digital drawing tablet, I will tell you that a lot of my friends who are in comics or people that I follow that do comics, the Procreate is where it used to not be. It used to be all Wacom stuff. Uh, the Procreate is becoming something that a lot of people in the industry are using. So. Get yourself one if you've been on the fence. I love it. I was telling um, everyone before that one of the reasons that I love it so much is because it is an Apple product and I use everything else Mac. So for me, it's just more user friendly. Um, now, if you use or if you're used to working, you know, PC, then um, the uh, other drawing tablets may be super easy for you to use, but it was like literally torture for me to try to use that Wacom sometimes, but. Okay, can you see how, how uh, she's coming to life a little bit? <laughs> she's someone said, am I tiny or is the iPad huge? This is the biggest iPad they make, but I'm also really tiny, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely try it, Allison. It's so awesome. I don't know what color I'm doing, Harriet. We'll talk that night. Let talk that next. Let me just finish this initial shading and some eye makeup, and then um, then we'll work on her her hair. Put a little bit more more white over here. 
because I like the boobies to be glistening. Okay. Sometimes things don't like this brush worked so good on the face and then all of a sudden I just don't like it on this part. No rhyme or reason to it. <laughs> so, you know, like with anything digital, it can be a little finicky sometimes, but so can your hands when you're creating art with markers or pencils, right? So I just deal with it. And again, you can see I'm like making checking on the layers just to make sure that I'm on the right layer because I have that little snafu earlier where I wasn't. Yeah, this brush is like, it was perfect before, now it's acting funny. But as I said, that's to be expected with the iPad sometimes. And uh, when I'm blending, another little quick thing, whatever I want the predominant color to be, I'll like go in that direction. Does that make sense? Like if I need more white over here, more with the palette, I'll do that. But if I want it to be more dark, I'll blend from the other direction and go over there. I mean, most people would do that automatically, but you never know. I mean, just little tips to help you guys out. And that's the same, like whether you're, um, yes, glisten and boobs. It's my favorite thing. I'm going to put more um, shading down there. So they're going to be real, real big and glistening in that hot sun that she's walking around in. Because even though she is the last woman on earth, if she meets the last dude on earth, she's got to be, she's got to be ready, right? <laughs> okay, so boobies are looking pretty good, but I'm going to put a little black down here. So I'll go back to my airbrush tool and uh, make it a little softer. see if this gives me the effect that I want. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. This is really fun. So typically, I'm going to be drawing um, with you guys, I think Thursdays and Sundays. See, them titties are popping now. Yes. So I'm going to... Um, go back to it a little bit later but it's a it's a good start um yeah it's a good start and uh i'm gonna fix her lips and everything but let me just put like a wash of color and then we'll go to the hair um oh let me just show you real quick with eyebrows oh actually hold on <laughs> i get so excited by faces and when i want to create a nice eyebrow what I do is I take a black and I use the airbrush tool. So her, I, I put like a little like general idea of where her eyebrows would be um, right here, but they're not done yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the layer with the color and I'm just gonna put a bit of airbrush where the ink is just because you're the last woman on earth does not mean you don't need to have killer eyebrows right so if you guys are just popping in uh the coolest thing about this drawing is that we all made her together she was a group effort because I sat down on Friday night with you guys and said, let's make a character. And I gave you some choices. We decided we were going to make the last woman on earth. And we talked about, um, you know, what her hair would look like, what her skin would look like, you know, um, all that kind of stuff. So we literally created this together. And if you want to join in on the fun, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and uh, hang out with us. We've got, like I said before, a ton of cool stuff going on on our channel. 
super well-rounded. We've got a radio show, like a morning show with Heidi and Henry. And, uh, you know, I think they do that maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe some days in between. And uh, then you've got Drink and Draw on with me. More cool stuff to come. So, yeah, that's the basic for her eyebrows, but she'll get more. And then, you guys, do we want to put, uh, what kind of eyeshadow do we want to put on her? Um, do we want to put just, like, black, smoky eyeshadow? Because remember, she's, like, the, um, she is the, uh, the last woman on Earth. So, where is she getting her, her makeup from, you know? Is it like something she gets from the earth and she puts it on? Is it like smoky? Is it is it like you saw green green eyeshadow? Okay, there would always be. You're a makeup girl, aren't you? <laughs> always be makeup in the in the the last days, but you could make makeup. Like how did they make makeup back in the day? You know, when there was no, um, no, like, you know, friggin' Maybelline, Maybelline. I've never used Maybelline. <laughs> I don't know why I said Maybelline, but you know, um, what do they make it from? Like different things from the earth, right? Like different clays. So, uh, but you guys wanted green. So let's find oh, this is a cool green palette. Let's try a dark green though. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my airbrush tool, put it down low. And uh, I haven't done her eye color yet either, so I gotta pick an eye color for her. Maybe I'll make it green as well. So I love doing eyeshadow <laughs> on these girls. Why is the number going up? I don't know what number that you mean. I'm confused. Okay, so they're so pretty. I get very attached to my um, to my drawings. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn her this way so you guys can see how I do the eyeshadow. And again, like when you're drawing and you think that maybe you've done enough, go back in there and 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 do more. Okay. Hmm, hold on a second. Okay, so this is like a dark green, which it actually goes really nice with her skin, her tan skin. Damn, her skin is popping. I really like that palette that I used. I'll blend it out more, but so let's put, you see that green shadow and, uh, I don't know if you can see it. And again, her face, she's going to have even more like shading and everything like that. It's going to look really nice, but it's not there yet. Um, what was that palette that I was just using? This is kind of a cool green to pop in. So we did talk before about her having like a feather in her hair and her actually earring because we we actually kind of talked about this character's story on Friday night. And um, we talked about how she has this love of nature because she lives in this apocalyptic, apocalyptic time where you know, there's nothing left. So occasionally she'll find like a bird feather or something from nature and she'll attach it to her outfit and she'll reminisce about a time when there actually was, um, you know, beauty and real people and animals and stuff in the world. So I pictured her with like a green feather coming out anyways. So I'm going to do a little highlight right there. That's pretty fucking cool eyeshadow. I wish you guys could see. 
but um better but i'll post her later too so you can see so what color eyes so now that she just got this green eyeshadow that's pretty bomb i'm gonna put a little bit of this too on top that's too much I love to with, you know, like, like I said, I was very attached to just drawing on paper, but I love with Procreate that I can try something and hate it and then erase it instead of ruining a whole drawing. Or like, I'm so sloppy sometimes, like if you're doing a whole drawing and then like something terrible happens to the paper, you're screwed. But with uh, Procreate, you can just, you know, erase it. Forest green eyes, that would be nice. Blue eyes. Let me see. Purple with some black would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, trolls. De How do you say it? Dubois. <laughs> purple, um, purple and black. Everyone seems to like purple and black hair. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Um, Lose RD. I was thinking about brown eyes with some green specks too. I rarely ever draw brown eyes, but when I do, I like to put like green and yellow in them. Um, yeah, green and purple hair would be cool too. Okay, so green, green or brown eyes. Purple eyes. I'd rather do purple hair. I could try it, but green. Okay, so green or I think it's between green and brown. Okay, I got brown. I got a green. Orange. Well, if brown could be kind of orange. Okay, so I think we all agree that like kind of like a hazily brown eye. So, oh, we got some greens though. See, all the browns came in. Now all the fucking greens are coming in. So what I'll do is I'll do like a brown, but with like some nice um, greens in there too. Like from this palette here. And let me see here. I'll show you what I like to do with my eye color first. So in the whites of the eyes, I like to airbrush like a, like a gray to give it like some, some shape. So I start off like that. And then I'm gonna blend that out too, but just start with a really fast little bit of gray in there. And that'll give it um, already a little bit more depth, you know? So what are you guys drinking? Anyways, I'm still drinking my wine. Van Helsing, they'll get there, trust me. I was terrible at first. And uh, it just gets easier and easier and you le learn tricks. And I mean, it's just like, it's drawing in a new medium. So you, you, uh, it's a learning curve, you know? It takes a lot, like I always say, you are what you do every day. And uh, definitely, you have to do this every day if you want to be successful, just like anything else, you know? Oops. Okay, so I'm going to start. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to start with her eyes, and I'm going to do just uh, a basic brown first. Oops. So basic brown, but you know, it would be boring if we just left them basic brown, right? So you need 
to put in some other little collars to make them pop. So I'm gonna put in a bit of green. I like this this green here. And then I'm gonna blend it all. So I'm just gonna dot it for now. And even though, like, this is zoomed in right now, so it looks big, but you know, it's gonna it's not gonna be that big and noticeable on the final picture because you know it's just a small part of her face but I still it just adds so much if you go in and you do like the details okay so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a little yellow I added some green and uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to use, when I shade the eyes, I really like to use a pencil because it has this nice little thing about it. And I use these little tiny like circles almost, if that makes sense. And I try to do what I did to one on the other. Because if you do one and then you start the other, you're like, fuck, what, what did I use? What happened? Oh, shit, I'm using the blender. Hold on. Wait, no, I was supposed to be using the blender. Damn. So, okay, so can you see this? Like, already, this eye is, like, looking beautiful. So, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to this eye because it looks so cool over there and then again I'm I'm using the pencil to blend out this color because the pencil has this cool texture that I love that is kind of reminiscent of you know what your the little shading that you have in your eyeball so and I'm gonna put a little bit of a dark green in there because I think she needs it. And then a little bit more shading. Um, hey Dave, so I'm using um, an iPad Pro. It has to be the Pro, it can't be the other one and it's Procreate. And you have to buy obviously the Apple Pencil. They have aftermarket pencils too, but I just find that when you use products that are supposed to go together, they just work better. But that's just my opinion. And there's all kinds of, you know, online tutorials that teach you how to do cool stuff and, and snag palettes and create you know, different color palettes. As you saw with my color palettes, I've been collecting colors for a while. And I'm pretty lucky because um, my boyfriend draws uh, a lot as well. He's an artist and he always snags these awesome palettes and then he shares them with me so that I don't have to go out looking for them. And you can also import different kinds of brushes and all kinds of cool stuff so that you can essentially create your whole studio. So wherever I go in the world, I can just take everything with me, um, you know, and it's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into, um, oh, well, hold on, I'll show you this first. I'm just gonna, let me just finish up with some, let me do this on a different layer, just because sometimes I don't like it. So I go in after I'm done doing the eyeball and put a little black under the under the the like the lash line. I don't know if that's too much or not or if it's good. But it just gives the eye like more definition.
you can go see Charlie's work. Um, he's actually, we're going to have an art show soon. Hopefully they don't cancel it because of the stupid um, restrictions Chicago just put down. But um, he's been posting a lot on his Instagram too, on uh, his page. And he's really great. He's kind of shy about it, I think. But he's a really amazing artist. So it's been really fun during, you know, this whole situation, COVID and everything, to just sit there and at least have that. We can draw together, make art together and everything. And this is fun sitting with you guys, too. So make sure you subscribe so we can keep on doing this. And again, I'm giving out um, free sketchbooks tonight. So um, if, uh, if you um, want to win one, just subscribe give some subscriptions and all that cool stuff. And then I put a little, oh shit, hold on, I gotta do that on this layer here. Okay. And then I put a little bit more, wait, what the hell? Hold on, guys. Oh, I see what I did. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes these layers can get confusing. Okay. I'm just putting a little, a little light in her eye. And I might change where, like, how her, where her eyes are kind of have this, like, little glint in them. I might change that um, depending on, um, you know, where I decide the light's coming from. It says Restream in the top right corner, probably uh, because I'm using the Restream app. So the Restream app allows uh, our Twitch to go to a bunch of different locations, but um, it's still, you know, on Twitch. So... I gotta fix this and then we will go back. Okay. So again, uh, the light in her eye might change depending on the setting I put her in and like all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so, man, I don't like that, hold on. Hold please. just got to fix this. I'm actually going to do this one over right here. So what do you guys like to draw? Like, do you draw, do you guys draw or are you, um, artists at all? And if you are artists, what is your, you know, favorite medium to use? trying to figure out where this little white speck is coming from and I can't figure it out. It's like somewhere over here and it's got to go. <laughs> so what do you guys like to draw? Yeah, Wild Joker, you've joined in on some of my drawing um, things. That's awesome. <laughs> Well, that's cool. Yeah, art. Music is definitely art, you guys. Don't let anyone ever tell you it's not. There's so many different levels of art, you know, and no one should ever feel intimidated because their art isn't like someone else's art. I hate when people try to and intimidate other people or act like what, you know, Oh, that's just comic book art. That's not real art. It's like, hell yeah, it is. Okay. Leave that alone for now. All right. So I um, will probably be going pretty soon because I have to go watch the new Fargo. Who's watching Fargo? Is anyone watching Fargo out there? But um, before I go, let's talk about her hair color because I want to 
do the hair color tonight while I'm sitting on the couch watching Fargo. Oh, I love mechanical pencil and microns. Those are my favorites. Yep, art is art. You don't have to understand. It's okay, trolls. <laughs> Art's art. Okay, so everyone thinks purple hair. I haven't uh, I haven't drawn purple hair in a long time, but um, I could do that. Maybe do that. Should we do neon hair or purple hair? Neon green hair or purple hair? Yeah, you're right. Earthy tones would fit better. Blonde with black streaks or forest green. Neon pink and purple. Hmm. I'm thinking something that she can get from the earth. Hi, guys. So, um, I gotta go pretty soon, so I'll just, like, put it, put it on me for a moment. And then I'll finish her up later. Hi, I'm in my PJs and all that good stuff. How are you guys? So brown hair with blonde, black, and red streaks, dark purple. Hmm. I don't know. It's magnetic. It was my ruler was stuck to it. She's looking pretty good though, right? So far, so far. So again, it's just starting with just a, like the initial layer of um, shading and everything. People don't realize that even if it's on, even if you're coloring digital, it still takes, you know, quite a while to, to make it uh, beautiful. So neon green and black, neon forest green. What is mud hair? Oh, mud hair. I get it. You know, like, because she's... <laughs> Yeah, henna is like the only natural one that I can think of, too. You know, Matt, I don't know what color the background is going to be yet because I, you know, sometimes I do the idea for the background first and sometimes I do the, the character first. And this time is definitely that character first. And I haven't decided if I want her to be like walking away from like a city or what. I don't know yet. So... Well, oh, thanks, guys. You can get these on my site if you want one. Um, natural colors. Yeah, all right. Well, let me think about it. The graveyard is, is done. Have you seen it? Go check out my um, Instagram. Uh, it's all done. And it was it was really cool. I think I think it came out really cool. I used really cool textures on the gravestones. And... Um, it, it it came it came out really cool. So thanks for being part of that process, you guys, and and hang out, uh, hanging out with me, drawing. This is so much fun. Like I said, make sure that you subscribe, and we will uh, keep on doing this kind of stuff. Gray hair from the direct sun. You know, I do want to have a nice highlight because obviously she's walking around a lot and all that. Okay, so this is what we did tonight. Can you see? <laughs> She's going to look so cool, you guys. All right. Um, yeah, decaying buildings would be cool. So I am going to definitely think about that. And, um, you know, check out my stories. Maybe I'll post some updates tonight. And if, if I get the chance to do some more work on her. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks for drawing with me and hanging out. This was so much fun. I love our character. And uh, remember to keep coming back, keep subscribing. And I will also check out um, who won the book tonight and I'll message you. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.